Let's get you over to First Alert Weather uh, now. Let's go ahead and bring in Chief Meteorologist uh, Scott Paget with uh, what else he's following tonight. Uh, what a difference, right? <laughs> Our night uh, sky looks from now to this morning. Yeah, absolutely. We had uh, that round of strong and severe storms move through this morning. You see the cloud cover increasing to the west. We have that next round on the way later on tonight. So let's break this down a little bit more for you. And you can see uh, the severe threat is there as we go into the evening hours into tomorrow morning. So you can see by the time we go to about the overnight hours between about maybe 9 to 2, 3 in the morning. We're going to be seeing these morning strong storms on the way in the overnight hours. Then as we get closer towards about the 6 o'clock time frame, a lot of that activity continuing to shift its way to the east. But with the threat in place, there is the potential we could see more tree limbs down as we do go through the morning hours with these straight line winds on the way. So as we take a look at exactly what's going to be going on, as far as that alert is concerned, you're able to see that I'm calling about 9 o'clock ish, 9 o'clock ish or so to about 5 a.m. Storms developing off the dry line. They're already out there. They're moving east. Damaging winds, one of the biggest threats, straight line winds. Large hail, localized flooding cannot be ruled out, and I'm not ruling out the chance of an isolated tornado on that leading edge of the storms. Where are they now? You start to see that we have now more activity showing up on our first alert radar off towards the west into the northwest, about 90 to 95 miles to the west of Jack County, 79 miles to the southwest of Erath County. So here's that complex of storms, and it's working its way down towards the southeast. Why, you might ask. Here are the upper level winds, and you notice that's a northwest flow aloft. So, as these storms develop, they ride on the upper level wind pattern and they will continue to work their way down into parts of North Texas. So, what that means for you is you need to stay alert through the remainder of the evening hours, already seeing some severe weather with these storms that are kind of coming their way on through. So, between 9 to 1, west sides of North Texas, closer towards the 35 corridor, about midnight to 5, moving through. By the time we get to about 6 to 7, continue to push their way through the east side. Of North Texas, and you see that on the first alert future cast. So, latest data coming in, you're able to see this is actually kind of weakening it, weakening it just a bit more, which is an interesting update. We have seen a lot of stability overhead for us through the day today because of the storms this morning. We're going to watch how this progresses, though, into the evening hours and then into tomorrow morning, maybe some more storms developing off to the northwest. That's also a new update. So, I'm going to analyze this data a little bit more for you. Either way, you need to pay attention. Slight risk of severe storms west sides of North Texas continuing to that marginal risk over parts of the Metroplex. So tomorrow, 85, those rain chances around 50% for us after the morning storms. But then on Thursday, I've issued another alert for Thursday night into Friday morning because that coverage going up to 70%. Slight risk of severe storms the northwest sides of North Texas for Thursday night to then that marginal risk on the way up for the same story. Dry line storms developing out to the west, moving their way from west to east as we go into the evening hours. Maybe on a weakening trend, but that doesn't mean we don't need to pay attention. So that's why the alert is there for us. Main threats, damaging winds, very large hill. That northwest wind aloft still keeping us with that same pattern. We're sitting at 77 right now with an easterly wind at 12. Across parts of the Metroplex, our temperatures in the upper 70s to the mid 70s holding on. Where we haven't seen a lot of rain today, low 80s, Corsicana to 80 in Hillsboro. So into tonight, a coverage going up to 50 to 60 percent by midnight. Then into tomorrow, we start out with rain. Coverage, storm coverage, or maybe about 40% tapering off through the day, still warming to the mid 80s. But then we need to look at this. First alert, seven day forecast shows we really don't have a break, Ken. We're going to be seeing uh, 81 degrees Friday, that mainly that 70% in the morning hours. Then on Saturday, 40% chance of showers and storms. We start June with still this active pattern, possibly some strong storms Saturday night. We finally start calming down a bit, it looks like, by next Tuesday. Yeah, it looks like that roller coaster ride is going to continue at least a little bit longer. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. Well,